What's up guys and welcome back to another G35 video. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing something really cool to the G35. We're gonna be installing stainless steel brake lines and we're also gonna install the master cylinder brace from Z1 Motorsports. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So here are the stainless steel brake lines. They're gonna be a great addition to the car. Got some DOT3 fluid, nothing too crazy. And I got a flare wrench so I don't strip anything. And then lastly, I got the brace and this is like a must have for every G35 and 350Z. So you really don't get the best feel after a while with the OEM brake lines. So upgrading to stainless steel firms everything up there is less flex on the hose itself to get more consistent pressure which in turn makes it just feel a lot nicer to drive and it helps out with performance and then you pair it up to the master cylinder brace i'll go ahead and show you guys once we install that how much flex the firewall has so with that being said guys let's go ahead and jack up the car So now with the wheels removed, I went ahead and got the air compressor and I have this that's going to be able to suck out all the brake fluid that's in the reservoir. So after I suck out as much fluid as I can, I'll go ahead and knock these brake lines out. The rear is a lot easier than the front. The front has two pieces, the rear is just one piece. So there's only going to be four things I really need to do. I need to remove this bolt right here, there's another one right here, and then this bolt right here and the clip right there. And that essentially moves the line and then I can go ahead and do the reverse order and install the new one. Now to install this back onto the car, you're gonna do the reverse order of how you did it. So essentially, I'm just gonna be putting back the banjo bolts and then I'm gonna put the 12 mil on and that is it for the rear. The front is a little bit different and I'll show you guys after I do this. Max. For the front, there are two pieces. It's gonna be a little bit different than in the rear. The thing to pay attention for is when you're putting things on to make sure that they're going in loose and free. So make sure that everything fits where it's supposed to before you tighten everything because you do risk a lot, you know, with brake lines if you don't install them correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and bolt this bolt right here with the flare wrench and then from there we'll be able to remove the clip. So then you go around the coilover and you're gonna remove that 10 mil right there and then then there is this bolt right here as well and then behind it is a banjo bolt and from there we'll be able to remove the lines and we'll put in the new ones. So now moving on to the last step, which is the master cylinder brace. Now, the reason why you would want to get this master cylinder brace is because the firewall, when you press on the brake pedal, it does flex. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the pedal and then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So there you guys go, you can physically see how the master cylinder moves and by adding a brace, it's literally gonna eliminate all of it so you're gonna have way better braking feel. You're definitely not gonna have that like weird mushy feeling towards the end where it should be really hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the master cylinder brace and the cool thing about this is it comes with all the instructions for everything you need. If you're ever confused, you can literally look at the instructions and it'll help you out. Now the only real downside with the Z1 Motorsports brace is that if you have a strut brace on your G35, you cannot run it. I believe on 350s you can, but G35s you can't for whatever reason. I'm sure if you did a little bit of cutting on either one of them, I'm sure you can make it fit, but straight out of the box, they're not compatible with each other. So that's something to keep note of in case you have a strut brace already and you wanted to get this brace. Keep in mind that it may not work. You probably will need to be doing some cutting. Alright guys, so it is installed now, so let me go ahead and show you how much the uh, master cylinder moves now. So as you guys saw, there's like literally no movement on the master cylinder, so that's really nice to have. And you can really feel the difference right away, especially pressing on it hard. So let's go ahead and go into the drying portion so I can give you guys my final thoughts on the brace and the stainless steel line. So this is the first drive, driving with the stainless steel lines and the brace. So I'm gonna do a hard stop and see how it feels. Damn, that stops hard. 
So first impressions on how they feel when you press on the brake you notice how consistent the pressure is as soon as I hit the brakes now it feels very consistent and it feels firm throughout the whole pedal. Wow that's really good pedal control. It's a good way to refresh your brake lines just because you're gonna notice that performance that you lost just because they're old. So there you guys have it. That's the video on the brake lines and the master cylinder brace. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope this was useful or helpful if you were looking to buy them. I recommend them. So one thing to note is the older your brake lines are the more of an improvement you're gonna notice. So that's just something to take note of. I hope that helps you guys out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Plenty of G35 content on the channel already and plenty of G35 content coming up. With that being said guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.